Okay, so I've started a screencast on the computer and what I have today is I've got Facebook Live up there on my iPad and it's right up there. Uh, it's on a stand. And then I've got YouTube. So I'm live on YouTube and I'm live on Facebook. On Facebook, I'm using the Facebook application on iPad and on the iPhone, I'm using an application called Wirecast Go and an iPhone 7. So basically, on the computer, okay, what I've got on the computer is my desktop. And on the desktop, I'm screencasting. I'm screencasting using ScreenFlow by Telestream. And then on the iPad, I'm on Facebook Live. And on the iPhone, I'm on YouTube Live using an application called Wirecast Go by Telestream as well. Okay, so two Telestreams, a Telestream on the desktop and a Telestream on the iPhone. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is an application called Slack. And the reason I want to talk about Slack is because I think that Slack, and I'm trying to convince my friends, some of whom I work with, uh, over long distances, I'm trying to convince them that using Slack or any other uh, application which helps people to work, okay, is the best way forward instead of using WhatsApp. Okay, so if you go to the Slack website, they say that Slack is where work happens. Okay, whatever work means to you or for you, Slack brings all the pieces and people you need together so you can actually get things done. Okay, so basically it's an application that ensures that uh, people get work done. Okay. A lot of people on WhatsApp are uh, trying to get stuff done, but it's difficult, it's impossible because of the way that WhatsApp is set up. I've been on WhatsApp and I go to WhatsApp and there are 800 messages or there are 300 messages, okay? I cannot possibly go through all of those messages. So normally I flip through and I go to the most recent message, but that means I've missed out on the other discussions. So as a distribution tool, that is as a tool to distribute content, um, WhatsApp is quite good because you can just uh, distribute your messages on WhatsApp. But as a, as a tool for working, it's really difficult. Now, um, YouTube is full of videos on how these things work but maybe my voice if I add my voice to this that might uh, help uh, my people to understand it or to appreciate it the way that I do okay so I've actually got on my desktop the application I'll show you what the application looks like by the way if you're on Facebook or on YouTube now I'll be posting the screencast here okay on my youtube channel so if when i post it on the youtube channel you'll be able to see uh what i'm doing on the computer screen but just now or right now i just want you to see uh, the process which goes behind the making of the videos that i make okay it's something which i think other people can also do if they inbox me and they want to find out i can always help them so there is the slack application right here okay so i'm gonna go to it and there it is and i've got on the left hand side i've got the teams okay so i've got the dt team which is me director for my team okay so on this channel or on in this group okay i do several things and i'm going to explain them but first let me go down the other groups so okay or the other teams so there's the dt team which is director former then i've got the ae team the ap team 
actually the AE team is the Africa Economic Forum okay I'm trying to get people who are concerned with what is happening in Africa and who want to work with me okay we can use that channel and then I've got the AP channel which is the Afro play channel which is to do with the uh, entertainment uh, in the African sense or on the African continent then I've got the ZB and the Z okay I'm not gonna go on onto those ones okay and I'm not going to click on them either okay because there are a lot of people on there that I'm working with and without their permission I'm not going to click on that and reveal all their names in case they don't want to be in my video okay so Derek Tafuma this one so on here I've got the channels and I've got 43 channels here and at the bottom here I've got direct messages okay so the start ones these ones here which are start as the general and the physics one and the random and the ZMHM F A O D uh, underscore E feather this one because I'm doing a project with Elliot at the moment so all communications are coming through here okay so let's go to the general one for example on general I've got all my friends okay who want to work with me in different projects so on the general channel it means anyone can be on that channel okay but I've got other channel like the Asana channel so if someone wants to learn more about Asana then they want to learn it from me if they join my slack okay they can I can then invite them to the Asana channel if I invite them to the Asana channel it means that they get to communicate with me concerning Asana okay then I've got the biology blogging Canva and I've talked about Canva the concept of capital I've got the chemistry computer security all sorts okay periscope podcasting okay search engine optimization Skype slack itself slack tutorial is over here okay so so if I click on Asana for example it means whoever is working with me in Asana has access to all of the files all of the messages uh, to do with Asana and it's also searchable so I can search here for say um, Asana and Asana comes up and they and then you'll find all the messages to do with Asana okay and I can search for anything on here I can start with that okay let me hide that for now so what this means is that if you look at the bottom here I can do a direct message say to Eva I can say hello are we set for tomorrow and question mark and then I just do that and then he gets the message and you can see here I've sent him some videos that we've done together before okay let me just play this one hello and welcome uh, to our show I've got uh, Elliot Febbe today Elliot Febbe is the it, okay so there you go that's a, a video that after we finished doing the video I posted a video to Elliot so he was able to use it the way that he wanted to use it as well okay so I, I can communicate directly with anyone here and there's a new feature where I can actually call someone so let's say I want to call Elliot more actions let's see let's go for this one so I can call Elliot using that 
and I can do this on my mobile phone and on my iPad because there is an application for the mobile phone and an application for the tablet and now it's calling Elliot okay with a click of the camera button you can switch to video okay so I can switch to video here and now I'm on, on video okay so Elliot is not really expecting this call okay but I just wanted to show you um, how I can I can call within uh, Slack and how am I able to call within Slack because Slack is using the same um, software or the same uh, application as um, as uh, WhatsApp okay so it's using the same it's using the internet actually for me to make that uh, call I think it's VoIP okay voice over internet protocol it's using the same technology as uh, as WhatsApp or um, Skype uses okay voice over internet okay so there we go i think that's all i can say for now about slack if there are any questions uh please let me know and i'll i'll help you with uh, explaining more about slack but i think it's a working tool okay it will help uh, especially those people that want to do projects together but are living uh, long distances away from each other this is one of the applications that you can use for project management okay thank you for listening I'm gonna stop I'm gonna start with my YouTube live stop it there still going okay that stopped and then I'll stop my Facebook live thank you for watching I haven't seen any messages today live must be four seconds in length okay does it mean it wasn't working finish I don't know what happened there let me check okay anyway I'm gonna stop this recording now